Mischief Ready. And when, when you think about it, the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation is about that people that God has prepared, uh, get, uh, prepared them for that marriage supper. Amen. Uh, you can't miss it if you think it properly. From Genesis to Revelation, God is calling the people out of the Gentile nation to be Christ's bride. Amen. Uh, we thank God for this morning. Thank God for all of you this morning. Uh, some of you I haven't seen in a while, but praise God. Glad. And I'm happy to see you. I know the rest of us are uh, glad to see you also. Uh, this is the time that we be encouraged, exhorted, and edified in the things of Christ. I have been, uh, to be honest with you, I, there were some things on my mind concerning how God over our little short lifespan that we have draws us to him. Draws us to him. He said in the book of John, you won't come to me that you might have life. You won't come to the light that your deeds may be reproved. You won't come because you love darkness rather than light. I was one who I speak of my own personal experience. That love darkness. Before we go into further, let us uh, pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this privilege and for this wonderful opportunity to share with with those that you call, and those that you wound, and those that you compelled, and those that you constrain to bring to a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Help this poor servant, Jesus, to gather from Scripture and from one's own experience those marvelous steps of your wing to bring us to us loving, saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the words that are spoken bring revelation and understanding of the all-inclusive one, that one is Christ. We come against every evil spirit, every demon, every dark saying, every unclean thing that exalts itself against Jesus. We come against it right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' precious name and voice, say amen. 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 Uh, I, if you turn to the book of John's Gospel, the fifth chapter, and the fourth verse, he says this to Of the, 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 those that were there, yet, and you are not willing to come to me that you might have life. Yeah. Verse 39, I'm sorry, uh, it's a good verse. It says, Search the scriptures. Because you think in them you have eternal life. And it is these that testify concerning me. And also, verse 40, you are not willing to come to me that you might have life. And also,
also in John's Gospel, chapter eight, chapter eight. Verse 21 through 27. He says, He said, therefore, again, I'm going away, and you will seek me, and will die in your sin. Where I'm going, you cannot come. The Jews said he is not going to kill himself, is he? For he says, where I'm going, you cannot come. And he said to them, you are from below, I am from above. Of this world, I'm not of this world. So. Therefore I say unto you, you will die in your sins if you maintain a relationship with this world. Unless, I read that in two, but that's implied what it's saying. Unless you believe that I am, mm -hmm. you will die in what? Your in sins. your sins. Right. They said to him, who are you, Jesus, said to them, all together that which I have also, I also tell you, I have many things to say and to judge concerning you, but he who sent me is true, and that I have heard from him these things I speak to the world. Then they, then, I mean, they, did not understand what he was speaking of to them of the Father. And also in Romans chapter 4, chapter 2, verse 4, and I'm through with those scriptures. Chapter 2, verse 4. <clears throat> or do you not despise the riches of his kindness and the forbearance and long suffering? Not knowing that the goodness, God's, God's kindness, leading you to repentance. The thought is here that God loves us. We, we have to get that cross. Jesus is saying what he said to the, those in the Gospel of John. Why? Because he loves you. If you don't believe I'm he, you will die in your sins. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. God loves you. How did you get from where you were to where you are now? God loves you. There are certain things, I'm speaking from my own experience, and I hope that some of these may apply to you, and we'll look at some in Scripture here, where God drew individuals to him, where God compelled individuals to make a decision, where God actually dragged some of us to him. I'm one. I can say he actually dragged me. Dragged me. What I mean is that I was kicking all the way mm -hmm. while he was dragging me to a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. There were things that actually happened in my life that actually, and all of you, I hope you can see what I'm saying here, that some decisions you made before you got to Christ you were compelled to make that in results of making that decision, you now see Christ. Mm -hmm. and what I want you to see is that surrounding all of us as we got to Christ, 
there were some certain things that went on in our personal life that helped us to see Jesus. I think the, 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 book, the book of Colossians where Jesus said, uh, Paul says, you have been translated out of the kingdom of, from under the thought of darkness unto the kingdom of light of his dear son. Mm -hmm. Through that, that gets there to the light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get, just getting, was in darkness, just yes. getting to the light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. We had nothing to do with getting to the light. Because Jesus said, you won't come to me that your sins may be reproved. But God loved us. He loved us. We didn't want to come, but God loved us. I glory at myself. I had no desire. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. I had no desire to come to God. I had no desire to know anything about God. My mind was to dis dis disagree, not to have any love, not to have any knowledge of God. I didn't want God in my life. I didn't want God in my thinking. I didn't want God in my behavior. I didn't want God in my business. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. But God loved me. Yes. He loved me. Yes, Lord. God loved me. In spite of my hardheadedness. In spite of my blindness. In spite of my errors and self righteousness. God loved me. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Yes, he said, so. if, you, if, you, if you remain, you may, may remain that thought in this world, you will die in, in your, your sins. sins. And I'm going away, and you cannot go with me, yeah. and you stay in this world, you will die in your sins. Yeah. Listen very carefully. He says, I'm from above. You are from beneath. Yes. I'm telling you the things that my father told me Amen. to tell you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Look at, look at our lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you were a child, something yes. happened mm -hmm. that God did in your life mm -hmm. to help you see something or escape something or compel you to do something or kept you away from something. Amen. You didn't even yes. know it. Yes, you didn't even realize it. That's on my time now. Yeah. No, it was your time. But God was directly working directly in your life to bring you to the same amount of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I remember my own personal life. I look at David, for instance. God brought him from a shepherd to the yes. king's palace. Yes. David, mm -hmm. Joseph, out of the pit. Mm -hmm. Down to Apollo's house, through the jail, oh, to the yeah. throne there in Egypt. Yes, yes. Moses, from the yes. murdering case that he had, yes, out to the desert, yes, then sir. back to it, bring, redeem God's people out of Israel. Yes, there sir. are so many people in the Bible where you see God working yes, behind the scenes. Yes, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I hope you see what I'm saying. God worked behind the scene to bring you. And you're here today because God wants you here today. Amen. You're not here because you decided to go. You're here because God got you here. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You think you made decisions based on sometime on what you, you wanted? No. They're based on the circumstances that God had created so you can make a choice. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God is smart. Yes, he is. Oh, no. Smart as I'm smart. And, 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 what's so smart about God? He loves you. Yes. God loved me. Yes, sir. Thank you. All that mess. Yes, sir. I was involved with all that mess I did. God loved me. Yes, sir. He took that bad stuff and made it good stuff. Yeah. Amazing love. Mm -hmm. Like, um, Amazing love. J, uh, Joseph, when he met his brothers back from um, yes, in that pit, yes. and uh, 
they finally got back to him and he recognized them. He said, God, you meant it for evil, yeah. but God meant it for good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things that we're going through, if we just look at it as evil and not God maneuvering that stuff so it could be good. Thank you, Lord. I will I was in the woods with some friends. I, I, I had no idea. God was, he, I, I didn't even think about God. He pulled that gun on me. And I told you before, and I was just thinking about the other day how he uses circumstances. When you look back. When you look back. You can look back. Over your life. Catch up. The goodness of God. Lead us up. Take a picture. The goodness. Thank you, Lord. The time when I was over in Newport News, out of my mind, in a place where I could have been killed, God made a way for me to escape. Thank you. Thank you. I never stopped doing what I was doing. Woo, Jesus. But those things stayed in my mind, stayed in my subconscious, stayed down in here. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I could contribute to good luck. Nope. At the time I did. Yes, yes, because yes. I was I didn't know any better. Yes, sir. But God was wooing me. Yeah. Come on here. Compelling yeah. me. Woo. Constraining me. Yeah. Dragging me. Yes, yes sir. Man. To Jesus. Amen. I couldn't be saved. You know, I waited to be true to Jesus. I fought some time tooth and nail. But he loved me. From the foundation of the world, he loved me. You see what I'm saying? The dragging. Sometimes I wanted to go and, and couldn't go because circumstances just wouldn't allow me to go. I would make plans to go and my plan would be shot in the air. I wonder what happened. I couldn't go. Mercy, Lord. Mm -hmm. God kept me. Yes, sir. Because going, I may have got killed. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Oh, yes. You got to, you got to understand you. What, what, Paul is, what Jesus Paul is talking about here. The goodness of God. The love of God that loved you. It constrained him to pull you. Amen. At the same time, you had a big role to play in that. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to come. Mm -hmm. You could have fought him and just fought him with the hell. Yes, you could have stayed where you were. You you'd have to make up your mind that you won't follow him. But you look back over your life now and you see whatever circumstance you live, it, it, you, you look at it as bad, but it's a good thing because now you know Jesus because of where you came from, of where he brought you from, of where he dragged you from. You'd have stayed there, you've been there right now. And so many young folks are still there. Dead. In jail. Full of drugs and alcohol. Don't know the tail from a hole in the ground because they're, they're not looking for Jesus. I hate to use that word. Amen. But God knows truth. Yes. So many young folk mm -hmm. don't have a clue mm -hmm. to what's going on. And so many old folks don't have a clue Amen. and don't share it with those that they're looking at. Yes. Look what the said Paul says here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there. Verse 1. Chapter 2, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Therefore you are without Excuse. Yes, yes. Don't tell me that God ain't made himself real to you. That's right. There you go. Don't tell me you, you don't know about God. That's right. You may not know him in a sense, and I'm talking about you, but you know God has touched your life somewhere in your being, somewhere in your life, somewhere in your in your being here. God has touched your life. Amen. You are not an excuse. You're not an excuse. No person you, in the world today can say there is no God but God. I don't know. You do know Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. You may not know Him in a saving in a salvation Amen. sense, but you know Him because of creation, right. yes. by the cause of the sun, the moon, and the stars, yes. because of birth, yes. because of mountains, the rivers, and the streams. Yes. You know there's a God. You know that because.
because of the universe, you know that somebody created it. Amen. You know there's a God somewhere. Thank you. And because of the miracles in your own life, in your life, you know God is, is real. Yes. You may not be the explainer, may not be the contributor to God, but you know you you were saved by God from something. Thank yes, you. Lord. You should have been dead, but you're still living. Amen. Amen. Should have been on drugs, but you're not taking drugs. Amen. Well, you got away from it. Thank you. Lord. Something happened. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Something happened. God, I love you. Join you. Join you, young man. Join you, young lady. Join my Jay. Right, all of us. He's still drawing. Once you know him, he's still drawing. Yes, you don't know if he's still drawing. Yeah. He's hoping that in his joy, you will recognize that who's drawing you. Amen. Thank God for the joy. I didn't know that that night that I was running from my life over in Germany from this, this bar that got in a fight and I was running. Running. <laughs> running. I bent this corner, some high bushes. I slipped on my. A voice told me, "Get out of the car." I got on my knees and rolled under the car. Wow! Those guys came right, running right back. A voice told me, "Stay right here. Don't move." Me, understand the voice or hearing the voice. I just did it. I didn't know. I didn't know. I got up out of it and went right back in my life. Still doing the same thing I was doing before. But he was still what? Trying. Yes, sir. It was me, Willie, that told you to get out of the car. It was me, Willie, that, that saved you. It was me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It me kept you out of, out of trouble. It was me. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Some of us see God right now. Mm -hmm. That He saved you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. You should have been in your grave. Yes. Mm -hmm. Should have been. Truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Haven't they forgotten you've been in the grave? Yes. Some of us say they're not going to murder. Yes. Truth. Mm -hmm. Makes it clear. He wants to kill yes. you. Yes, sir. He wants to kill you. Mm -hmm. He wants to put you in the grave. Yes. Amen. Without yes. Jesus. Yes, yes, sir. Before you come to a saving yes. house. Yes, sir. We were on back to the barracks mm. late then. Mercy. Mm. Well, commanding officer, what, what are you? Why are you late, Harvey? Mm. I said, well, I got in a little trouble downtown. So he said, we're going to put you on the uh, mm. commissary. Clean the, the commissary. Heck, I don't care. I Mercy. still had plans. Mercy. Mm. Tell me, Harvey. Gracious. Mercy. Tell me, Harvey. No, 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 no. That's, that you have to say it yourself. Amen. That's the truth. You may not have been doing what I did, but you were doing something. Something. When you got saved from you were doing something then. When you got saved. Amen. Salvation means to be saved yep. from something. A lot of salvation worked in my life, but I the new birth was down the road. Yes, sir. Yes. That would mean he's going to draw. Right. Mm -hmm. Got the shit drawing. Yeah, he's drawing. Mm -hmm. Got draws. Mm -hmm. Draw every one of you. Yeah. Every one of you yeah. got a story. Truth. Every one of you got oh, a story. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. How you got to Jesus. Yes, sir. What got you to Jesus? Yes. What drew you to Jesus? What compelled you to get to Jesus? What constrained you? What obligated you to fall in love with Jesus? judge one another, you condemn yourself for you who judge practice the same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God called us from all of that. Yes. Not back right, right what the scripture is saying here, but we can't we can't judge anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't judge Jay. Jay can't judge who we judge somebody. Mm -hmm. Who we think that you you ain't right, huh? You ain't right. You ain't right. Mm -hmm. I, who can say my life was all messed up. Yeah. And your life was all messed up. 
and how messed up it was, I don't know. But mine was really messed up. But God called me way back here before I was born, before, I was, before, he, before, I went, before my dad even knew my mama. He called me. In the beginning, he called me. He called you. You know why he called you? Because he made you. He loved you. Yeah. Amen. That's right. When I want to somebody, I want to love them. Then darkness, oh, look at that word again. He ain't cool again. Oh, look. Jesus. Send the angel to heaven, dear. Look at that food happen out there. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Every one of us got a story to tell. And I believe everyone had a chance to tell it. We'll tell it. It'll be a little bit different, but it's all about Christ bringing us a, a saving of, 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 of himself. Goodness of God. Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh, let me say this. There was a, a young man years ago. Uh, I heard this man talking about more from the same thing he did. He came from overseas somewhere. Stockholm, Sweden, or something like that. His daddy did. His daddy had a map of the of the whole whole, whole city, and he gave it to the boy. When he had the boy, the boy wanted to go back and visit home, and um, he gave him the map. He said, "As soon as you get off the boat, you just follow this map. The map will take take you right where you need to go." That was 35, 40 years ago. So when the boy got there and got off the boat, and he looked at the map, mm -hmm. he said, what in the world? Mm -hmm. I'm doing, this map Come on here. is old. Mm -hmm. It doesn't tell me anything. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the moral of the story is that some people think the Bible it's outdated. Mm -hmm. It's our kid. Mm -hmm. it's, it has dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. It's it just old. Yeah. Yes, sir. It, ain't, it ain't for this young generation. No. It's old. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, old folks love yeah. that. Love read the Bible. I'm reading about the old folks. That's for old folks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I say the same thing. Mm -hmm. They're for old folks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm old folks. I'm still saying the same thing. It's for anybody. <laughs> anybody. It's for everybody. Yes, yes, it and what yeah. happened was, what is that? That the map itself wasn't that bad. All he had to do is critique it a little bit and go find everything he wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same thing about the Bible. Mm -hmm. The Word of God is not outdated, mm -hmm. just up to date. Mm -hmm. You don't take the Bible and fit it into today. You take the Bible, you take it today and fit it in the Bible. Yes, that's right. Amen. That's good. That's good. That's good. And when you read uh, Daniel or Revelation, it just, you just picked up the paper, that's all you did. All you did was pick up time to spend. Time to spend. That's all you, you just picked that up. But it helped you see the world itself. That's it. You can't take the Bible and fit it into the world. You take the Bible and take the world and fit it into the Bible where you can see it. Yes, Amen. Thank you. You see? Amen. It's a big difference. Yes, sir. Once we look at the scriptures that have been God's eternal word. Yes, sir. It's a map. Yes, sir. It's instruction. Yes, it's a guide yes, in the midst of the maze yes, of this modern yes, generation yes, and the way it thinks. Yes, it leads all around the pitfalls yes, and the philosophies of this world yes, and the seducer spirits and doctrine of devils. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Ain't nothing new on oh, this Praise the Lord. Absolutely. And nothing new on this Come on, Amen. And he says, uh, I do not consider this old man. Who judge those who practice such things? Do the same yourself. That you will escape the judgment of God. Nobody's going to escape you. It's a point of man wants to die. And after that, the judgment. But verse 4 is where we're going to close here. He says, Or do you despise 
the riches of his kindness. Mercy, Jesus. Mm. Riches. Despise. Do you despise the riches, the riches of his kindness? His kindness is so rich. It's so rich. His kindness is so rich. But we have no, no understanding of it because we, we operate in a realm of darkness. Mm -hmm. um, we don't even like to say word, kind words anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? What'd you say? Mm -hmm. You ain't got to say it to me. Thank you, ma'am. No, you, you have said it to me. You have said thank you. Mm -hmm. What? When has this world got to a point that it doesn't it doesn't receive the thanks. thanks. Thank you, Ellen. Mm -hmm. And you feel like you've been insulted mm -hmm. because somebody said thank you. Or please. A ma'am. A may I? Yeah. What's the other word? May I? Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Now? Excuse, Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong. Yes, but the Bible. Helps guide you through that muck and mire clay. Yes, that muck and mire. That stuff out there is no good. The Bible helped you through it. I'll tell you my um, granddaughter. She's not here today, but God bless her soul. I love her. Mm -hmm. Is uh, things that will stand. Yes, sir. Over time. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. May not be your car. Thank you. Won't be your car. Uh -huh. Won't be your clothes. Nope. Won't be your hair. Uh -huh. Won't be all that. Stuff. But it'll be kindness, yes. mercy, yes. compassion, yes, sir. forgiveness, yes, sir. joy, yes. endurance. All that yes, stuff sir. will last. Yes, That's yes. an inheritance that we pass down to our children. Yes, sir. That's it. Amen. 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 I don't need another car. Uh -huh. I don't need another plaything here. Yes, I need something that will to hold me through eternity. Amen. Uh, things that you see, there's only a on chapter of things. Yes, yes. And those things you don't see are what? Eternal. We, 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 we're talking about this morning, Jay, about going in there buying stuff. Stop buying so much for these kids. Yes. Yes. Never replace love. Never replace time. Absolutely. Jake, the one we talked about yesterday, too. Look at it. Never more than that. Come in the wall, my. I said, Jake. Listen, son. Look, 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 son. Look at me, son. I did. I said, look at me, son. I said, what are you going to do? You're going to buy this little toy. And unwrap it, go home and play with it about 10 minutes, and oh, throw yeah. it in the pile. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. That's true. Mm -hmm. So true. So That's right. Amen. And then you'll be looking for another tool. Yeah. 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 That's the truth. So be careful. Yeah. I'm not saying don't buy your kids. That's, That's, right. That's crazy. That's right. I'm saying make sure right. she or he understands the value of money yeah. right. and the material thing. They got a place, and, and the, the screw thing got a place. Too. Amen. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They got a place too. Some things you need in this, this day and age. Some, but you don't need abundance of things, but some things you do need. And then you got to be very careful how you work on those. Do not, oh, then my last time. This other time. Uh, when God saved me, I didn't know it. The thing about it, when God saves you over, over a period of time, it gets to a point that you have to make a decision. <laughs> but there's enough of him yes, <clears throat> that you can call on it. Because he's done a, so much for you over the past, yes, over your life history, that it's got to be God. Yeah. It's got to be God. Yes, and, when, and you may not be thinking it's got to be God at the time, but when you get to this point that you have to make a a, a, a life change in decisions. That's when you run. It got to be God. Mm -hmm. You call on God mm -hmm. and God can save you. Yes, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And sometimes it doesn't take but two or three things to happen in a person's life that they find right. But me, it took a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Bunch of stuff. Some stuff I can't even tell you. Mm -hmm. How God can save you 
in the midst of dying, he can save you. Mm -hmm. In the midst of a going gun, or a midst of drowning, he can still save you. And he will join me. See, God is so mother, he draws you and draws you and compels you. You got to make a decision, you yeah, will it? He visited you have to make a decision. Either you is or you ain't. That's right. I made my decision. And then he translated me out of that darkness. Thank you. Into his marvelous light. And I'm saying that to all of you, young and older, you have to make the decision. Maybe you already made the decision to come over. Or maybe you're on the verge of making a decision to come over. But if you come over, you will never be disappointed. Amen. Um, if any man be in Christ, He's a new creature. Old things are passing away. And whenever God does stuff for me, I know exactly where it came from. I'm not confused anymore. I can't attribute to luck because I know luck doesn't exist. No, it sure doesn't. Bad luck doesn't exist. Ain't no, ain't no such thing good luck, bad luck. There's God. Yes, sir. <laughs> And God uses all those yeah. things that we said good and bad to turn, make them turn out to be good. Mm -hmm. I think the book of Romans closed. We're going to close here. One Chapter 8, verse 20, 28. <laughs> Even those good things Brought us to a place where we can look back and say, the good things. Chapter, 20, 20, chapter 8, verse 28 <coughs> through 30. We know that all things. All things. Oh. Well. Thank you, Earl. I'm here that day. I know that day. I think about it sometimes. Do you remember when we, when we did your, your, your son's message over there in uh -huh. Mount Vernon? Yeah. And that we preached this same from the scripture here. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I was coming back out fussing out. What was I fussing her? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was fussing about my yeah. car. I blocked in. I couldn't get out. The girl said, all things. <laughs> <laughs> I could say nothing there. I could say a thing there. It's all things. <laughs> That's all they said. All things. All things. <laughs> and I, I remember that. Never forget that. And that stuck with me even up today. That all things work together for good to those who love God. And something else about his warning. When I was coding Claudia, my whole thing was warning her.
trials and tribulations and get to a point where you can really appreciate what God did. Yes, sir. And that comes from a lot of wooing, constraining, remembering, pulling and pushing, and uh, sometimes just, just dragging. And when, when God drags you, he doesn't drag you hard. It's a, it's a, little, a little bit here. And sometimes you don't even know you're being dragged. You don't even know. The unhand, unseen hand of God. If you read Esther, you want to, you will never heard God's name mentioned, but you see him in the background working. In your lives, and I, hey, in your life, son, he's working. James, Barbara, all of us, he's, he's working. All we have to do something, as King said, you have to see his hand. All we look for God's hand, God's hand. In our lives, in our training, in our maturing, do we see God's hand? Sometimes we see God's hand, but we see God's hand as it look ugly and hateful and it's bad stuff here. No, no. All, all things. Good and bad. And some people stop right there. No, no, no. It goes no further. It's for those who love God. If you don't love God, then what you're going to see is always bad. Yeah. What God doing now? Lord have mercy. What are you up to? I I, what God punished me for now? Yeah. No, no, no. God don't punish. The punishment been taken out of Jesus at Calvary's cross. He's now drawing you to mature you, to grow you. Every trial, every tribulation is to grow you. Have you talked to the most and to grow you, yes, to mature you, mm -hmm. to develop you, yes, because you're coming out of something yes, that's unnatural. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Nobody would actually give up this and that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sometimes God has to create something where you have to give it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it, 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 it would be so wonderful if each of us could see exactly what we need to give up. Yes, yes. The Holy Spirit can show you that too. Yes. He leads you, he'll guide you into all truth. He won't lead you into nothing that's not, not a price. Thank you, Lord. He says, love God and those who are called according to what? His purpose. Those who know the calling to his purpose. And that is what? That shape us and mold us to the image of his dear son. If you don't know why you're being called, you may fight Christ all the way. Guys, I'm trying to mold you till you be just like, just like my son. He begotten you, and you begotten of him, so I want you to look just like him. That's, right. that's exactly what he's saying here. But if we don't realize that's what he's saying, and, and, and understand that God does love us in the midst of whatever we're going through, he still loves us. And, 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 and it's for shaping this morning. It's for shaping and molding and for trimming. Sometimes God had trim stuff off. As uh, Peggy said, burn it off. Oh, yeah. mm. Going through a fight. Mm. But Peter said, don't, don't look at it quite that way because uh, you come out on the other side look just like pure gold. Mm -hmm. The fiery trial that you're going through. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I can't. The word of I'm going to make it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. How am I going to make it? I don't know how I'm going to make it. I'm not going to turn to the world. Yes. Right? Mm. I was in the world before. It never helped me. Yes, sir. Right? There's no help in the world. The help is in the Lord. Yes, sir. Look to the hills on which come in your oh, head. Your yes. help come from the Lord. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. nice. yeah. Because those whom he foreknew. Mm -hmm. What? Before you came into the world. Mm -hmm. He already knew. Mm -hmm. I think what Jeremiah, mm -hmm. Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah. He talks about, I saw you in your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. Before I, I knew, uh, before the, before you were born, I knew you. Mm -hmm. What? Yes, sir. Before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. Mm -hmm. Well, gracious. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Before you were born, God already knew you. Before you knew yourself, God already knew you. Before you even came on the scene, God already knew you. Before time began, God already knew you. In the beginning, 
God already knew you. He'd already been destined you to be black his son. That's what it says. Thank you. The thing with most believers is that they don't get proper understanding. We don't have anything new here. It's just that we take it out of the bag and open it up. Yes. It's in the bag. Oh, yeah. But do you have but I tell you something else that's about this teaching that Elder Myerson, you you um, I think you give me with um uh, on it, uh, even all of you, you've been here quite a while, is that once you get a hold of the kingdom and and what it has for us, it, 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 it creates a hunger and an eagerness. But the thing is that we make sure that we don't eat the wrong stuff. Because the devil is feeding all stuff. See, if you got a real hunger, a baby got a real hunger for, he hungry, he crying. Why? Mm -hmm. He crying, right? Mm -hmm. All right, well, you're going to give him the right food, right? Right. Well, what helps him to know that he's getting the right food? You do. That's it. The Holy Spirit doesn't turn you loose on anything. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is going to get witness of that which is Christ, and that which is not Christ, he's going to reject it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Remember that. And something else I think is very important for growth is that. I, I, I don't like this. Mm. I don't like this. And I don't like that. Mm. This, these are greens. Mm -hmm. And these are turnips. Mm -hmm. mm. This is cake. Mm. And this is pie. Mm. And this is a piece oh, of ice fried chicken. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But I, I don't like this. Uh -huh. See a lot of selective pre preferences. Uh -huh. I don't want that. I want, I want, I want that. But that, that is a full meal. That, 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 when you begin to eat that, then you realize that that helps you to mature and grow. Ice cream, candy, uh, cake, uh, you just gonna get blow up. That's all you want to do. Where you Where you and make you sick. Yeah. It actually will make you sick. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Make you sick. Yeah. And not only that, well, make, but it's it just, just milk. Yeah. No nutritional value. Absolutely. Absolutely. So get a piece of this, get a scoop of this collars. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. of these yeah. turnips yeah. over here. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I just should be saying turnips, but Carla got me hooked. Like, yeah. she, she cooked turnips. I go in there. I don't, she don't know, but I'm going to get this scoop of the thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, this is what I'm saying. Some believers are so adept to just eating things that they like. Mm -hmm. it, don't, it doesn't cause any, any challenge to their system, mm -hmm. uh, to their thinking. To their, as long as I don't, I don't have to change, I'm all right. Yeah. If you preaching me something that's going to challenge me to change, I really don't want to hear that. I'm going to still here to deal with this. With this, uh, and it's good. And you can never, you said this more, you can never really grow. Mm -hmm. You got to eat whatever Christ put before you. Mm -hmm. That's why the trials and mm -hmm. tribulations are so important in a believer's life. Mm -hmm. That you young folks, you got trials and tribulations in a school. Mm -hmm. You got some fools like right that, just a crazy thing be. Mm -hmm. But don't you get hooked up on That's that right. mm -hmm. You stay with Jesus. Because they, they, they're going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Stay with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Stay with him. Pray in the morning when you get there. Mm -hmm. Pray in the bus. Pray at your desk. Mm -hmm. Pray in the bathroom. Yeah. Pray down the hall. Yeah. That's yeah. the only thing that don't keep you sane. Yeah. Because a lot of stuff going in the school will drive you crazy. Amen. 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 That's the truth. When you meet a friend, pray about it. Mm -hmm. I was telling um, my dear baby, I said, look, when somebody tell you, talking to you, just don't listen to what they just don't <coughs> hear what they're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you see yeah. something, just don't look at see what it is. Mm -hmm. See, most of the time we just look at stuff. We don't really see what's behind it. You see, we listen. We don't listen to what's really going on behind mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Whole lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. That we see and we, we just run behind. And once we get there, we find, oh. Mm. It saved you a lot of trouble, a lot of heartache, if you just looked. 
Now, another way of looking at your hearing or knowledge. You done, you done seen all this. So I'm going to check with you. Mm -hmm. Your parents. They seen most of the stuff. Check with them. See what they say. If your parent hadn't seen it, or is not in a position where they get somebody in the body can help. Mm -hmm. You see? You want to grow. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, this is what I see most of all the time, is rejection of revealed truth. And once you reject, reject, reject revealed truth, there's no growth. Because mm -hmm. you got to deal with that before you can deal with the next thing coming yes, out of mm -hmm. yes, But to stay there and deal with it is the, is the endurance thing I was thinking we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Don't run from it. Let it do what it needs to do. And don't and I, I do it. get rid of your pride your pride says you're just like that, sitting right in your lap. That's what it is, right in your lap. Lord, help me with my pride. Oh, Jesus, I need more help. I need more help. And eventually, pride is over here, and Christ is in his proper place. Can work with your emotions, your mind, and your will. As I said last Sunday, all he wants to do is not take your emotions, but trim the carnality mm -hmm. off your emotions. Mm -hmm. The anger, the frustration, yeah. the fussing, the whining, the crying, and murmuring. You will shave that off. Mm -hmm. To get to the point that he's not whining, the more you're trusting. Yeah. You're not murmuring, the more you're trusting. Mm -hmm. You're not complaining, the more you're trusting. Mm -hmm. So a believer is complaining and whining. He's not trusting. Am I right? You, you got you. You seen babies? Um, I've seen babies. All of us seen babies. Mm. When they're happy, oh, they ain't whining. Mm -hmm. But when they want some, they start to whine. Mm -hmm. The same thing as, as a believer. If you're whining, that means you're not trusting. Mm -hmm. God, you're gonna give me everything I need, and that way, come jump on the pedestal and just go crazy with it. He will give everything I need, but when you don't, you start whining. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's not what you need. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what you want. what you want. He's not going to give you that. He'll give you what you need. He said, "The first born among the brother, and those whom he predestined, predestined mean that it's set in place. These he have called, and those whom he have called." These he also justified in Christ, and those whom he justified, those he also glorified. He's going to glorify us in the new bodies that we get after the resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ. He's talking about in the, in the totality of the, of the consummation of times when he justifies us. I mean, raises us from the dead, gives us a new body. That's not so. But the thing is, can you remember? How are you, young man? Seventeen. You? Seventeen? Yeah, you're, you're twins, right? Yeah, ask me, Jay. I'm, I'm hitting on something. <laughs> I, I know the twins. I'm just, I'm just pulling, pulling strength. Uh, Sometimes it's good to know. You've had some experiences. You've had some. You've had some. You've had some. You've had some already and unexplainable. You don't know how it happened, but it happened. That's God who wouldn't. I'm so glad that God loved me. And God didn't let me stay in that pig pen where I was. Mm -hmm. so God come down to the pig pen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let me get this boy out of here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Come down to the old big garbage can. And I'm floating around and eating everything I can. And looking at everything I can and pulling everything. I'm in the garbage can. I'm in the heat. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son the Holy Spirit, but not perish, but have everlasting life. May God bless you and may heaven smile upon you.